If you're just getting started in 3D printing, you don't even need a printer to experience it. You can actually start by downloading Cura, which is a free slicing software, and then go into a site like Thingiverse and picking a free model out. And this way you can import the model and start tinkering and playing with all the different settings and learning what that does as the part builds and doesn't build. And you, you get an idea of what you're in for. Uh, so to take it further, uh, many local libraries, makerspaces, and schools have 3D printers on hand now. Usually they have programs for the community to take advantage of it. So if you don't have any friends with 3D printers, you can always go to the, the library and use theirs. Now, if you want to, you can start with a $200 printer. Uh, these come in a kit, which you'll put together yourself, and it'll actually give you invaluable insight into how a 3D printer works. And you'll experience how it's very much like working on a car or any other mechanical object. If you know what you're getting into, but only want basic materials, uh, there's some great machines out there uh, for a few thousand dollars. If you want to learn first, but get into the high performance polymers for your first real project, then you can always start with something like a FunMat HT or a Cincinnati and work your way up from PLA and ABS up to the more advanced materials as your skills improve. Now, if you're an engineer, this is probably where you'll want to start. If you start with an advanced high temperature printer, then you won't be limited by low temperatures on your cheap printer or not having a hot enough bed or you'll already have a chamber that's ready to go if you wanna do big nylon prints or whatever it is you're trying to do. It's really easy to find online resources for tuning, troubleshooting, and optimizing your 3D printers. And the resources are only getting bigger. Now is an incredible time to start and get ahead of the industry as we move into literally a new age of additive manufacturing. Anyway, we hope you like this video. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. And as always, hit that subscribe and notification bell. Have a positive day and we'll see you on the next video.